Hello and welcome to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic. This is Amber Kent here with some students from Dade Elementary School. Today our Spotlight School is Dade Elementary School. We're super excited to be here. Our first segment today, we're going to be talking about an upcoming art show the kindergarten art show and we are super excited it's going to be titled read me a story and we're going to be focusing on a celebration of authors and illustrators each one of the classrooms has been spotlighting different authors and illustrators and so um, throughout the year we've been focusing on how authors and illustrators work together so I have some artists here with me today who are going to talk a little bit more about the art their classroom will be presenting. The art show will be at Dade Elementary School in the old cafeteria on May 6th through 10th, various nights for various teachers, and the VIP viewing will be May the 6th from 12 to 2. I'm going to start down there on the end. Miss Raina, can you tell everyone your name and who your teacher is? Raina. Okay, who's your teacher? Miss Ambrose. Miss Ambrose. And Raina, what book did you bring today that you've been looking at at school? If you give a dog a donut. Oh, that's a great story, isn't it? Can you tell me a little bit about the story? Um, well, because it's super funny. It's a funny story? I like funny stories, too. What's the funniest part? Does the dog eat the donut? Yeah. Yeah? And then he wants some apple juice and, and then he wants and then when and then when he drinks it all, um he asks for some more. Oh and then there is no more. Oh my goodness. And that leads him on a big chase, right? Yeah. So what have you brought today that you made in Miss Ambrose's classroom? A kite. Can you show everybody on the TV? Okay, can you tell us how you made it? stuff to it but then we picked this stuff this out but they and then they put this stuff on there for us but we did not pick the stuff out okay so it looks like the tail of the kite and you created the kite with tissue paper right mm -hmm. awesome all right i'm going to move to arlie arlie can you tell us your name and whose room you're in my name is arlie and i am in miss kent's class okay and what book are we looking at arlie the giving tree the giving tree yes and all the illustrations in that book are what color black and white black and white can you hold up your picture and then tell us how you made it I think it's upside down. Can you flip it over? There you go. All right. So in the book, the boy builds a house with some of the branches, doesn't he? Mm hmm Okay. Can you tell everybody at home, how did we make that print? We made it out of cardboard and a pencil, and then we colored it black, and then um, we stamped it on a piece of paper. Yeah. And it made that print, right? Out of styrofoam. We drew in it with a pencil. Yeah, great. Okay, Mr. Wyatt, could you introduce yourself and tell us whose class you're from? My name is Wyatt. I am in Miss Gibson's class. Yes, okay. What interesting things have you been talking about, Miss Gibson's room? I have been talking about dinosaurs. Okay, what is your favorite dinosaur? I would say the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor. Why is the Velociraptor your favorite? Because it's really fast. Oh, do you like to go fast, speedy fast? Can you talk to us about the art you made? I made a volcano. Oh, volcano. Tell us a little bit about that volcano. How did you create it? So first we had like six cups of color. And then I did like this light brown. Okay. And I got some like <coughs> um, reddish brownish color. Yeah. Then I, Miss Gibson, on her lava and on her volcano, she tried spider paint, but it really didn't work. Yeah. And then the she ho 
Chuck tried like a little drivel of the red stuff, uh-huh. red paint, and it actually worked. We done it to everyone. Then she tried a different kind of splatter paint. We took a little brush and dipped it in the uh, orange, white, and um and yellow. Then we took a big brush and tapped it a lot, and it made a volcano. <clears throat> okay, so the part you tapped is the white, the orange, and the yellow, mm-hmm. and that is the part of the volcano that's the what? Explosion. Yeah, that's the explosive part. That's a really great volcano. I would be scared of that volcano. <laughs> Super scary. All right. Can anybody tell me what your favorite part about doing oh. art is? What do you like doing, Arlie? What's your favorite part of creating art? Doing fun stuff and creating new things. Making new things. Okay. What about you, Raina? Do you like painting or drawing or putting things together like a maker space? Putting things together. Okay. And what about you, Wyatt? What's your favorite part? I like drawing. You like drawing. Okay, great. Well, that is just about going to wrap it up for us. Once again, Hello. the art show is called Read Me a Story. It's a celebration of authors and illustrators. And it's going to be at Dade Elementary in the old cafeteria on May the 6th through the 10th. And you guys did a great job. Thanks for being with me today. Can you wave bye to everybody? Anybody you want to say hi to? Hi. You got a shout out for anybody? What? No. Shout out? Hi. (laughs) Okay. Thank you so much. Can you gig it? Oh, yes, you can. We know you've been waiting for a long time, and now Tennessee Valley Net is bringing it to you. Gigabit Internet Service, now available in certain areas of Dade County. Not just fast, super fast Internet Service, now available from Tennessee Valley Net. People are talking, I mean really smiling, about gig speed Internet, available in limited areas from Tennessee Valley Net. Call today at 706-657-4367 or log on at tvn.net and see if gig speed is available where you are. We know you'll gig it from Tennessee Valley Net. Georgia Northwestern Technical College is now accepting applications for classes. We offer programs in business, health, industrial, and public service at six campus locations with financial aid options as well. Take day, evening, or online classes to get your degree, diploma, or certificate. Apply now. Drop by one of our campuses today or check us out at gntc.edu. Georgia Northwestern Technical College. Get focused. Get hired. Rising Fawn Hardware is your place for all your gardening needs. Seeds, onion sets, cabbage, strawberry plants, and more. A complete line of home hardware items, too. Everything for the house, including plumbing, hardware, and metal roofs. Plus, Rising Fawn Hardware has everything you need for your livestock, including name brands like Nutria, Tucker, and Faithway. Always with a hometown atmosphere, it's Rising Fawn Hardware. 4300 Highway 11 South in Rising Fawn. Open 8 in the morning till 6 at night, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and 8 to noon on Wednesday. Even open on Saturday from 8 until 4. Rising Fawn Hardware. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank Marion Countyans will ever need. At 402 North Cedar Avenue in South Pittsburgh, 4765 Main Street in Jasper, and at 14087 Highway 28 in Whitwell. Providing the highest standard of customer services with a personal touch. Our associates can help you with personal loans, personal lines of credit, a variety of mortgage loans, and more. And we offer real-time internet banking too. See us in South Pittsburgh, Jasper, and Whitwell today. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank Marion Countyans will ever need. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Lafayette announces their spring cleaning clearance blowout. Get this 2018 Malibu LT nicely equipped for $20,995, our best price of the year. Save over $11,000 on the 2018 Silverado Z71 Crew Cab 4x4 with leather interior. A great truck at a great price. Plus, huge markdowns on all 2019 Chevy Silverados in stock. Ready to save money? Take the drive to Jackson Chevrolet Buick GMC in Lafayette.
Hi, and welcome back to DES segment on reading, writing, and arithmetic. I am here today with my future teachers of America, and we are going to tell you about all the exciting reading initiatives that we have going on at DES right now. And we have a goal, girls, that we want every student reading on level by what grade? Uh, yes, yes, we do. And we have several things that we're doing to help that happen. And one of our things that we're working on is we are doing sight word superstars. Would you show the medals, girls? The, these are medals that students earn, and Jenna's going to tell us how students earn these medals. Well, if you can read and say the words in your grade and you get and you can say all of them then you will get a medal right and that has really gotten the students exciting our k2 students excited about learning those words hasn't it and as we know that everything we read is comprised of 75 percent of sight words so that's why we really want to push those sight words and these helpers have been going to teachers' classrooms and working with students to give them support in learning these words. So I'm going to let these amazing fifth grade students introduce themselves. And girls, would y'all tell the community um, what teachers you work with? Zoe, we'll start with you. Um, my name is Zoe Gibson. I'm in fifth grade and I am in Miss White's first grade class. Good. My name is Hannah York. I'm in fifth grade and I work with Miss Pascal. Great. My name is Jenna Hurst and I work with Miss Haney's kindergarten class. I am Maddie Page and I work with Miss Morgan's second grade class. Maddie, tell us what are some of the things that you do when you are in um, with Miss Morgan? Well, we sometimes I do like math pages with them um, and I do a lot of sight words with them. Good. What about you Hannah? What do you do when you go and help Mrs. I, Pascal? I help them read and I practice their sight words with them. That is awesome. What about you Zoe? I love when I sit out in the hallway and uh -huh. I listen to them read to me and I love hearing them sound out the words. Isn't that rewarding? Like miss, they always missed. Missed. That is awesome. So they're blending. They're really putting those skills into practice. That is great news. Does anyone have a success story that you would like to share um, with one of your students you're working one. with? Um, one of my students, um, he, he read to me one time, and then yesterday I had a future teacher, and he read to me again, and he did so much better. Awesome. Reading. He did it faster, and he knew more of the words. That is such great news. And you know what? When you help a child learn to read, you are truly helping them have success in life, aren't you? That's good. How does that make you feel, Jenna, when you when you know you're a part of that? It's just so precious because I'll be there one day, and then the next day I come back, they already, it's like they instantly were a little bit smarter. Like, they knew more <laughs> words, and it was yeah. just... It was so cute. <laughs> and that is a great feeling, isn't it? You girls are doing such a service to our school and our students and our community, and I cannot thank you enough. And the teachers you work with are so incredibly proud of you, and they have shared with me some of these success stories, so that is wonderful. Also, one of the things that we are doing to promote literacy is we are so excited. We are going to have a vocabulary parade on May the 10th starting at 1 30 and girls um, you guys have been thinking about your words that you are going to dress up as mm -hmm. and would you like to share with the audience um, a word that you think you might want to dress up as well I was thinking maybe equivalent fractions Ooh, that's good what does equivalent mean they're equal equal and I think you have a costume idea that a student at a different school um, and what word is that produce and what did they do for their costume they have a, a basket and they put like 
like fake veg vegetables in their basket and they have a sign behind them that says produce. Cool. What about you? Would you like to share your example, Hannah? Um, I have economic system and that is where animals live. Yes, that's great. Ecosystems is a great one. What do you think you might want to do for your word? Have you thought of one yet? Not yet. Still thinking? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, Maddie, um, what about you and Jana? What what words are you guys thinking we of? We were thinking about being one together and being symmetrical so we yeah. could both be half of something. I absolutely love that idea. That is a great idea, and I love the math vocabulary. So can you show us some examples for parents out there in case they're kind of trying to think of something to have their child dress up as? What is yours? Um, gluten. Gluten. I mean, glutton. I'm gluten sorry. Miss Rogers and her glasses okay. on. Glutton. <laughs> Tell us what the girl used for her costume. Well, she wore like a baker's outfit and she had a baked donut and then she had, <laughs> she drew a sign that said glutton and she put sprinkles on it. I love so, it. Because what do you think glutton means based on that outfit? Someone who overeats, I'm going to Yes, guess. and I'm afraid that Miss Rogers is guilty of that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maddie, what about yours? Um, mine has two girls, actually. One is Blossom and one is Contagious. Ooh, Contagious. What does that mean? Um, where it can spread. So, what her idea was from the book um, has a bad... Um, bad case, case of stripes. stripes. I yeah. love it. That's, then, I, I, I love that she tied it to a, a literature. Yeah. And then this other girl, she um, like has a bucket that looks like a pot and she ta she wrote <laughs> the word blossom and she put flowers in her um bucket well i don't know about you girls but i'm so excited about the vocabulary parade and Very i'm exciting. gonna tell you no i'm gonna wait and let everybody be surprised at what no, i'm gonna dress up at no. um, I'll use it that okay way. i'll tell you i'm gonna be ancient because they don't have to put too much work into my costume no, that, but that's anyway not, that's not true. but that's not anyway true. I, that's one of the ones i'm thinking of also, I just really quickly, I want to tell everybody about our summer reading initiative. And this summer, every child at Dade Elementary is going to go home with a bag filled with three books and a reading lamp. And we are going to challenge all of you to read in all kinds of different places this summer. Like we've got some suggestions, um, make a fort, um, maybe while you're camping or on vacation. And we're going to start a Flipgrid account so you can post pictures and videos on our DES Summer Reading Flip grid account and um, that way everybody can see all the cool places that our students are reading in the summer. Where do you like to read Zoe? I've been very excited since I got my new books. I've been very excited to start reading on the beach for vacation. I love to read on the beach. What about you Hannah? Where do you I'll, like to read? I like to read when I go camping where it's quiet. Oh that's perfect. Jenna? I like to read while I'm in my bed snuggling up with my guinea pigs. They're just so cute and Aww. fat, and it's amazing. <laughs> I bet they like listening to the stories, too. Well, no, I read in my head. Oh, okay. I also like um, to read in my bed because I'm comfortable um, where I'm at. That's true. I read every night in my bed. Great. Well, girls, I'm excited about all the reading initiatives that we have going on at our school. And we even have um, some students, and Zoe Gibson is one of those students, um, who is part of our Duke TIP program. And these are children that were selected to be in the Duke TIP program because of great test scores. And they are actually participating in book clubs with Mrs. Blevins, the principal. Mrs. Bice, the counselor, and myself, the academic coach. And Zoe, tell them what book we're reading. Um, with Miss Rogers, we are reading The Phantom Toll Booth by Norton Jester. Awesome. Well, 
we cannot tell you how much that we appreciate um, all the efforts that you student teachers are doing to help our students read so that they one day can be part of the Duke TIP program. And thank you for tuning in today to Reading, Writing, and Arithmetic for this second session. And you don't want to miss the third session coming up. We have our two counselors, Cheryl Haynes and Tanina Bice, who are going to share with you a lot of information about All Pro's dads the milestone testing and some other initiatives going on in the counseling department country cooking with family recipes that's what you'll get at howard's restaurant offering a full menu for breakfast lunch and dinner plus an all you can eat lunch and dinner buffet they make all their homemade bread and pizza dough and sauce come by howard's restaurant for special buffets they're open tuesday through saturday 6 a.m to 7 p.m and sunday 11 a.m to 3 p.m howard's restaurant in Eider, located in the old cabbage bowl restaurant catering is available call today 256-657-4191 at Comfort Gallery at Kimball, comfort is the key. And the key to making it easier to sleep, sit, and stand is a new power lift chair from Catnapper. Catnapper's power lift chairs feature comfort coil seating for long lasting comfort and a powerful yet smooth, quiet motor. Some models even include heat and massage. It's really comfort at the touch of a button. See the full selection today when you visit Comfort Gallery. Free delivery and setup, one year free layaway, and six and 12 months, same as cash, available at Comfort Gallery. 780 Main Street, one mile north of I-24 exit 152A, Kimball, Tennessee. Delivering top quality primary health care locally. We are Northeast Alabama Health Services. With seven locations, there's one near you. Scottsboro, Section, North Sand Mountain and Higdon, Skyline, Woodville, Fife and Fort Payne. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and of course your private insurance. If you're unemployed, low income, or have a high copay or deductible, you may also qualify for a reduced rate office visit as low as $16. Ask about our free medication program. And ladies, you may qualify for a free or reduced rate mammogram. Dental referrals for our patients with tooth removal and filling for only $15. Putting your health concerns first, we're Northeast Alabama Health Services. Cervical cancer screenings now available at Northeast Alabama Health Services. When you or a loved one is facing a life-limiting illness, hospice care may be the answer. At Tapestry Hospice, the patient is the focus of our care. We're here to serve you and facilitate your wishes. Tapestry caregivers are concerned with managing your pain, keeping you in touch with your physician, and helping you make plans for the future. Hospice is life-affirming, and Tapestry Hospice can help you deal with all aspects of life, mind, body, and soul. Call Tapestry Hospice for more information. 706-383-8812. That's 706-383-8812. Tapestry Hospice. Redefining hope. Come enjoy pizza for lunch or dinner in a family-friendly atmosphere at Stevie B's Pizza in Fort Payne. Enjoy the buffet and salad bar anytime or have a specialty pizza made to order. At Stevie B's, take advantage of Two Stamp Tuesday for adult and senior buffets and Thirsty Thursdays when drinks are free after 4 p.m. Take out any medium pizza weekdays between 2 and 5 for just $4.49. And on the weekends, take out any two large pizzas just $14.99. Book your parties now by calling Stevie B's at 256-979-1234. Stevie B's Pizza, 2200 Galt Avenue North, Fort Payne. Hello, I'm Tanina Bice. And I'm Cheryl Haynes, and we're the counselors from Dade Elementary School, and we are hosting this part of the segment today, Miss Bice. Yes, we are. We will be talking about character education and parent engagement. And we're very excited to tell you what the character word is this week. This week in the Dade County Schools, we're talking about the word traditions. Yes. And we're explaining the word traditions to our students as customs and beliefs pass from one generation to the next. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Miss Haynes, one tradition that we carry on at Dade Elementary School is we recognize a student each week who displays that character trait. Mm -hmm. And it's not only done at Dade elementary school but they do it at the other schools in Dade County as well mm -hmm. but the student this week that Dade Elementary has chosen is Morgan Mitzer from the second grade in Miss Misty Webster's classroom yes. Yes. and you know she has just displayed this character throughout her classroom mm -hmm. by having th the tradition of always turning in her homework always following the rules mm -hmm. and having incredible manners yes and, and then Spice she also has tell us about her family traditions mm -hmm. 
Yes, one of the special things about Morgan Mincer is, and not everybody knows this, is um, she has a grandparent who served in the military, and both of her parents have served in the military. And so, as we're looking forward to Memorial Day and July the 4th, we are thinking about traditions of patriotism. And so, Miss Misty Webster her, Webster, her second grade teacher, recommended her because of the family tradition of patriotism. So. Absolutely, and we're very proud of her. And I believe you'll see a picture of her come up soon. So congratulations to Morgan. We're very proud of you. Um, we also have another tradition, Mrs. Haynes, of working closely with the Optimus Club in Dade County. They have been there for years to support us, to help our students. They uh, give our students incentives to participate in the Optimist Oratorical Contest and the Optimist essay contest mm -hmm. and on Saturday the Optimus Club sponsored the area Optimus S uh, oratorical contest mm -hmm. and we are happy to announce that Dade Elementary student uh, Amelia Anderson won the area contest mm -hmm. and we're so proud of her because you know Miss Haynes she competed against elementary students middle school students and high school students and our fifth grade student Amelia Anderson won that contest mm -hmm. so we are so proud of her mm -hmm. now Miss Haynes she will be competing on April the 27th at 9 o'clock at Dalton State College so please come out and support Amelia Anderson in that contest. Yes, that's wonderful. Now we also have some essay winners. Don't yes, we, we do. Guys? Absolutely. Dade Elementary School had the privilege of going over yesterday to the commissioner's room where the Optimus Club recognized our students from Dade County for writing winning essays. And Dade Elementary School had a fifth grade winner named Abigail Holmes from Miss Bradford's room. And also we we had Kirsten Gwynn from Miss Blalack's room, and they were given an incredible, wonderful medal for their mm -hmm. in, their wonderful essays that That's they great. wrote. And this is a way that Dade Elementary School supports the character trait of tradition. We also are continuing this with our Love the Bus. Uh, we support this along with Character Ed. Love the Bus is done every other week. It supports good behavior on the bus and good behavior at the bus stop. Mm -hmm. The bus drivers themselves are recommending the children by name. Um, so when your child receives a Love the Bus award, it is from their driver in particular. Their name has been given. Um, they are awarded a book that is given uh, and as well as a Frosty, a Chicken <laughs> Nuggets, and some candy. Um, they love that and it is announced on the intercom and their picture is posted on the big screen TV at school as well as uh, in the newspaper weekly. And so um, I believe that that is all the time that we have for today for reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, no, that's all right. Thank you so much. Um, sorry. I believe that's all the time that we have today for reading, writing, and arithmetic. And so we are supporting our character ed program at Dade Elementary. Miss Bice, thank you for Absolutely. sharing these wonderful things with us.